Today we're talking about wilderness carry and how I do it. So I use a Hill People Gear kit bag, chest rig, whatever they call it. But this one is their original full size, so you can kind of get an idea. I have a 42, 44 chest, six foot, 210 pounds. That's my body type. And this is what a full original size looks like. The way they want you to carry this with a firearm is on the very back. I don't like carrying it back there because there's too much in the way in my opinion. So I just use that for like an iPad mini if I'm doing digital stuff uh, with like navigating or a notepad. I'll put flat stuff on the back um, right there. The middle zipper, which I've replaced this particular zipper with paracord and heat shrink tubing to make it erect because they're rather limp otherwise. And I like things erect. So this one particularly is is different. Um, that's so that I have something to grab a hold of in case of an emergency. I pull this over all the way, come in here, bring out my firearm, and I'm on target. Before we get any further into this, there's no magazine in it. And as you can see here, hopefully, maybe, possibly, there's no brass in there. Safe direction, we're safe. So, I carry a nine millimeter for the majority of what I do. Why is that? Why do I feel safe with a nine millimeter? Well, it's bullets like this Federal Solid Core. It's a flat-nosed 147 grain plus P bullet. And 15 plus one of that is gonna take care of the majority of things that are out there. There's even been, you know, people that said they've taken down Grizzlies with nine millimeter. Lots of stories out there of that. But for the majority of stuff, especially Pennsylvania, East Coast, black bear, uh, honestly, not too worried about black bear. They scatter off for the most part, unless it's like a mother, and her cub, or you know, one wants to get a little squirrely, but that's what you plan for. That's why you have bear spray. That's why you carry a firearm, and you think about situations before you go out into the wild. You don't just randomly. You don't want to go out into the wild. But anyway, that's a whole other subject. But if I'm going to Alaska, where we have friends, or Mrs. Burns and I have friends, and we're going out camping and doing stuff there, I will change out. I'm not going to carry a nine millimeter. I will change out to like a 44 Magnum, a 30, a 357 Magnum. And for that, you don't need a holster in here. You just simply place it in here, zip it up, and you're good to go. So there's two different lines of thought I have that I just explained. Alaska is like its own little, you know, island of what you want to think about. Majority of the rest of the nation, you know, you can pretty much get away with whatever you feel is that way. So for me, nine millimeter is gonna take care of the majority of things, lower 48. How I have it set up in here is I just have a holster that has paracord attached to one of these Molly cutouts right here. And I have a discrete carry concepts. This is an inside the waistband holster. It's just attached to this discrete carry concepts uh, metal belt buckle right here, belt loop, belt clip, whatever you wanna call it. And then I don't have a lot of paracord right here, slack. There's like no slack. So that I can come down here, get on target, and take a shot if need be. The positive thing is it's not that much different from a, a concealed carry uh, draw because with concealed carry, you're coming up, you're already up around this area, and you're coming out, and you can really take the shot right there. So technically, you know, the shot, we're here, I'm on target, I'm on site, and I can pull the trigger if need be. I don't have to wait for full extension. So think about those things when you're out there, but that's how I have it set up. It's real simple. Not too much to it. The rest of the stuff that's in here is a magazine, which is indexed a certain way in the front here, so that when I can pull this out and get a reload quickly. Uh, flashlight whistle which is attached by a paracord and then compass which is attached by a paracord that's really it because the majority of all the other stuff is in my backpack so that's how I have this chest rig set up from Hill People Gear um, like I said this is the original size and those are the situations in which and how I would you know set it up in relation to a firearm uh, the one thing I will say is using bear spray um, there's a holder out there that actually fits right underneath here. Um, I'll put a link down below to it. I forget the name of the company, 
off the top of my head because I'm doing this really quick just on the spot. I'll put the link down below to the holder uh, for bear spray. It works awesome. You've seen it in the bottom of my um, chest rig here on different videos that you've seen. Okay, I've been testing it out, um, you know, seeing how it worked. It works really well. It has a nice little um, attachment system to the bottom of this. But for, its, for the money, ever since I started using like a chest rig, these things are awesome. They make you super mobile, being able to have some, you know, gear here. And uh, yeah, it works really well for me. Uh, if you guys have a different way or, you know, different stuff that you carry on your chest rig, go ahead and put a comment down below. Let us know how you carry your stuff. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. And until next time, later.